I'm going to show you the what happens when you have the parallel batteries connected incorrectly. So in parallel, you have your positive to your positive and your negative to your negative so that you can share the total capacity of the battery between the two. So in this case, I got 20 here and 20 here, so theoretically I should have 40. Now the way that they're connected now, so I've got this inverter, I currently am testing on one battery only, uh, where I have the power coming out on, on the single battery. And so this is actually the incorrect way to do it. And I've been doing some tests and I have a meter here showing the current going from this battery to this battery. And as you can see, we are draining current into it because of the test that I've been doing for the past few minutes. So what I'm going to do is show you what happens when it's in this condition and then show you a better way to connect it. So the reason that this is not a good idea is because current follows the path of least resistance. And so if you put your uh, power output here on the, on the front battery, these wires uh, leading to this battery here add resistance to the circuit. And so the current is going to want to come out of this battery more than it does out of this battery. And we can measure that, but that is a problem when they're in parallel. And so the reason is, is that this one is going to be discharged more than this one. And then when you're charging it, the reverse happens and then this one will be charged more than this one and the batteries become out of balance. And you can see that right here because I've got current flowing through the batteries right now just from my testing. So let me put this on a stand and I will show you. Here we have 0.8 amps going between these two batteries. I'm running this light bulb. All right. Inverter running there, running about 12.9 volts. Got a steady point. Eight. Let's shut it off. Swap the terminals. Okay, so it is clearly lower when you have the incorrect wiring. So that means that this more of the current's coming out of this battery than it is that battery. And so it's not a lot of these wattages, but on a percentage basis, as the current goes up and you have higher and higher loads, you can have more dramatic difference in amps. And you're definitely going to be cycling this one much harder than this one. So that does prove that incorrect wiring affects the uh, current flow between the batteries. Now there is, um, like I said, this is a better way, but it is not really the best way. And so there are a couple of other ways that you can make this better. So one thing you can do is put your power output right here on the positive and here halfway between the negative on the wires that go from there. And what that will do is that will have equal resistance from this lead to the lug versus this lead to this lug. And so it will draw off of them at, at the same uh, current and also will go back into the battery at the same current. And you know, maybe I can wire something like that and test it. So that's one way of, another way of doing it. Um, the third way of doing this is to use lugs or uh, battery rails like a bus bar between the two of them. And so in the previous video, uh, that is what I did. And I use big, heavy copper cable and to simulate that. So they, they were with lugs and wire, but they were so big that there's virtually no difference in the um, current carrying capacity or the voltage from one to the next. But I did connect them diagonally. And if you look online and look at various uh, schematics, if you're going to use bus bars, you would still put the bus bar from here to here, at least the ones that I have seen online.
And I want to make one comment here is that my test apparatus is not perfect because the idea is to have an equal length from here to here as it is from here to here. But since I needed to measure it, well then I'm going through these uh, small wires to go into my meter and that is actually going to influence the test somewhat. But at least we can see in general terms that we have a higher current out of this battery when we are splitting the uh, positive and negative power inputs versus just taking it out of the front battery. So I just want to bear that in mind for those of you that are really looking at all the little details.